I'm ready to feel suicidal. I've died so many times. I've gotten kind of close. Kind of, I guess. I got to the lobby, or the living room, and I died. I've gotten to the living room, like, two times, so, you know. Hello, Gordon! I should've gone around, I always go around, and that time I didn't. And I got the burner too, that's like the best thing you can get at the beginning, and I kinda fucked up. Usually I go the long way around, but I wanted to see if you could go the short way. Also, that box always explodes, I've died to it twice, trying to see. This box doesn't though. Yeah, it's safe, okay. Honestly, I think you die every time at this part when, like, if you're injured, you have to knife it. The burner just goes through it fast, though, which is why it's good to have it there. And he's kind of vent slow. I'm kind of worried about the spider, because sometimes he just kind of hits you. <clears throat> yeah, I've died way too many times. I know where... I know, the like, a whole strategy to get past everything without getting hit. I just kind of fucked up. A stabilizer. That's pretty cool, except stabilizers don't heal you. Only steroids do. Okay, we're gonna have to style on this spider, man. I'm kind of scared. I died. Oh my god. That box explodes if it's a two star. If it's a two star, it explodes. If it's a one star, it doesn't. This one never explodes, and it's always a one or two star. Oh, there's my statue. I could get burner fuel. Okay, I did. This guy, see that's the strategy. You just hit it and then run off to the side and usually it blows its skull off like a stupid little bitch. But yeah, normally normally it just dies and you don't really have to worry about it, so that's kinda cool. I shouldn't have tried that. I could have gotten hurt there. But I didn't. He's kinda slow, as long as you don't let him get too close, because they have some pretty far range that you don't really realize they have until it's too late. So yeah. I've had him walk around that trap before. I don't remember if I got hit or not. Honestly, if you're not sure if a box explodes, a burner can actually keep you safe. Oh hey, I got more burn up roll. So there's gonna be a fat ass behind the store. He kinda like throws up all over you. He's just like a a bloat from Left 4 Dead 2. And he's gonna walk up to the door. You just have to sit here so he sees you. Otherwise he stays right there. Just make sure he doesn't vomit on you. <clears throat> now I have to wait. He's gonna be he's actually way faster than you know you think. He's definitely faster than a bloat is. Or at least I feel like he is. Sometimes he vomits there, which is actually good. If you wait until he finishes, you can just run past him and close the door. I don't even have a pistol yet, so that was kind of a waste, but it lets me use a stabilizer, which is arguably pretty important. Steroids are better because they not only act as a first aid kit, but also increase your max health. So if you ever get a steroid, don't use it, because it it acts like a strong first aid. Is he going to come? First hand, it takes two traps to knock him down. I'm going to explode this one. This is just kind of preference, so that once you explode this one, I can run down the halls and dump me under it. The question is, I have a burner, and I can just click once and use about five fuel at the end of it. If there's a pistol, it might not be worth it since it's a burner, it is. This is why the burner is so useful. That box almost always explodes. I don't know which star it is. Okay, it's a two star. So if there's a two star there, then it explodes. I don't think I can get that, to be honest. We'll see. We'll see what's in the box. Is that a steroid? Yeah, that's pretty useful. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I think one shotgun shell for a steroid is pretty useful. It could be a second stabilizer, which is also good. I don't think it's a steroid since I don't have any health. It's a stabilizer. Okay, that's, a f that's fine. I'm gonna get rid of this and then grab that so I can use it. So now my reload speed is gonna be very fast. I don't know how exactly how fast, but we'll see. Okay, that's pretty fast. I actually like that. <clears throat> so for this next room, it's gonna lock you in with some creepy crawlies. It's just. I don't really know which box explodes, so I guess now is a good time to experiment. Okay, that one doesn't. There's one that spawns you there sometimes. So with this, you just kind of wait, run back here, and then sometimes it explodes both their legs off, which is the best case scenario. Since I have a lot of burner fuel, I'm just going to burn him. This guy, it's not worth it, though, and I'm going to use the two-shot double barrel, because it does way more damage up close. 
Okay, now there's gonna be a spider that spawns behind me. Since I have the burner, though, instead of fighting it, I can just turn very tight corners. This is gonna be kind of close. It always is. And it's actually pretty scary. Yeah, see? It's always pretty close. Uh, I believe that box explodes, but I don't know if it's only when it's a two-star, so we're gonna find out. Oh my god, I thought I was far enough. Alright, so we're gonna be playing Ethan Must. Okay. The fact that there's no more boxes over here makes me think that even more. Anyways, we got the shotgun, that's nice. So I forgot about this and I died to it. Basically, just turn around the moment you get to the top and crouch and it won't kill you. It's, it's really easy to avoid if you know where it is, but the first time through, I'm pretty sure everyone's died to that. Okay, up here, make sure you go straight forward. Because if you don't, you're going to hit a pressure plate and explode the entire room. So, every box in that room explodes, except for this one. That's a survival knife. The survival knife is like 70 times better than the actual survival knife, so you can literally just... And then the uh, default knives, you can just kind of trash it. It's almost as good as the burner. It might actually be just as fast as like, cutting through flesh as the burner. Anyways, if you have ammo, you can shoot that box. But I found out while playing this a couple times that you can actually hit that pressure plate and explode them. Uh, the reason you have to do that is because there's a trip mine right here. If you shoot that, it explodes the entire room. So you have to be in the corner of that area. There's a box sometimes back there. No, it's not. So now we're going to hear Jack die because he's kind of bad. Yeah, that's what I thought. So now there's turrets. I don't really know if they turn to you because some of them do and some of them don't. There's going to be a mold behind you, but you can just let the turret do all the work. I take a step back, though, because I've seen them fall right here. Anyways, that explodes, so... Oh, it didn't. Oh, we okay, so this is the secrets of defense. It basically makes blocking an actual thing. So blocking in this is very useless, unless you have the secrets of defense. Still do it if you're going to get hit. But you actually take very, very, very minimal damage. Now, there's going to be molded that spawn in this room. Uh, we're going to kill that one, go up to the sky, kill that one. So... This part I've died a couple times. You're gonna want to run back here. I don't know where the, where some other loot is, but you're gonna fall down here. Make sure you go straight, or else you fall into there, and run away immediately because there's gonna be a molded that drops down there and hits the thing. I didn't know that explodes too. I didn't know he falls down here, but see, you saw there. If if I didn't have secrets of defense, I probably would be at about. I probably would have taken, I think, two times the damage if I didn't have secrets of defense. Maybe even three times. Not only crawl- oh yeah, there's also a molded in here. I kind of forgot about him if I'm going to be honest with you. I would try- I'm not too sure how to feel about life anymore. Uh, yeah, his hand's kind of bloody. I don't really know why. I'm just going to cut back to whenever I get back to where I was, however long that might take, because this is not enjoyable seeing someone go through the same rooms repeatedly over and over, dying. Okay. There's no reason to open that yet, so all we have to do is get the greenhouse key, but there's a bloat. And that makes me really nervous. Because of the fact that there is a bloat and it locks you in. I don't think I'm prepared to fight him. Like, with the amount of guns I have, I just don't think I'm ready. Especially since I don't have the secrets of defense. I'm really nervous knowing that the moment I pick up this key, it could be the moment before I see game over, but you know, we gotta do it. There's nothing else to do. I, I'm, I skipped a few rooms due to my strategy, but I believe in us. Let's go. I think a good strategy is stunning them in front of the sentry with a pistol, like this guy.
Now this guy. This is the dude I'm talking about. This guy right here. Do you see how much bullets that dude tanked? And there's a sentry firing at him the, the entire time. That is why I, uh, that is why I said not to use the bullets on him when you go into that one room, because that's how much bullets it takes. Now there's gonna be crawlers that spawn. Right? I'm right. Oh. I thought there were the, um... Well, they are crawlers, but... Oh, that's right. I forgot the strategy. You have to shoot them. The, okay, I forgot the strategy. Okay. This is as far as I've gotten. Oh, shit. Never mind. There's the crawlers. I was right. I didn't know... Th okay, that's alright. We killed them. So, this is as far as I've gotten. I opened this door and I died due to a C4 I didn't see. That thing. That absolute asshole hell Satan spawn placed by the developers. Alright, we're just gonna run, dude. We made it outside. Very nice. Judging by the fact this is Ethan must die, the enemies are gonna be outside. Which is worse, because I, I don't have a plan. This is as far as I've gotten. Usually I play this for about four or five attempts, but to be honest, if I die, it's probably gonna be the end, because I really, I'm telling you, I don't feel like playing this again after I've gone so far. Also, these frame drops are starting to annoy me, and I don't know why they're happening. Why is there so many enemies? <laughs> Richard the bloat scream. You know, I'm really low on ammo, so they better give me like a lot Where's the bloat dude? There better not be a trap in the greenhouse or I swear to it dude, okay? We're going in the greenhouse. I'm so cautious considering that these developers can be assholes sometimes. Okay. Does she appear here? Ah, oh, bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna worry a lot. Work it off. Considering I died at this many times in the madhouse, I am very scared for my life right now. <gasps> Turret! Bro, that turret is a life, could be a lifesaver. I gotta get over there. Yo, what's up, turret? No, you're not, you're not gonna get shit. Ow! Get off, get off, crusty ass woman. Oh, Jesus. Dude, I swear, it, the turret's gonna get me, isn't it? Damn. That's pretty deep, bro. Good, I hope she is. I hope she's crying right now. Yo, what's up, Mrs. B? Mrs. B Garit? Come over here, fat fuck. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Boom. Ow. Help me. Please let me break it. What's in it? An herb. Ah. Perfect. An herb for my troubles. You're not giving away this. Oh lord, yes I am. Ow. I died, are you kidding? I should have healed. Oh my god. Well, at least I got to her. I don't know, man. That's kind of depressing. 
Well, I am just gonna quit the game. I, I got far enough. I'll try again later. Ugh. <laughs>